Mr. Speaker, Sean Bruyer is a veteran and one of the leading advocates for veterans. I didn't always agree with Sean when I was minister, but I always showed him respect, unlike now, and I always knew that he knew his stuff. The current minister chose instead to disrespect Sean and to attack him publicly. My question is simple, Mr. Speaker. Will the minister rise in this House today, show respect and stand by that veteran, and apologize for publicly attacking Sean Bruyer? Honourable Minister of Veterans Affairs. Speaker, ensuring that veterans and their families know about the benefits and programs available to them is essential to my job as Minister of Veterans Affairs. And that's why it's so important to explain what is involved. It's why I've hosted over 40 veteran town halls across the country. It's why we are working so hard to explain Pension for Life as clearly as we can. These new benefits are not simple because the problems we are trying to solve are not simple. Our programs are about dealing with the problems that some veterans face and facing them in a very effective way. Honourable Member for Durham. What's tragic, Mr. Speaker, and why Mr. Bruyer brought his small claims court uh, case is that the Department of Veterans Affairs told that minister that Mr. Bruyer's complaints about broken liberal promises on pensions and other things were, in fact, correct. That minister ignored his own department and sent three government lawyers to crush Mr. Bruyer's lawsuit. So I'll ask again. The minister all week has says he stands by veterans. Will he show respect to Mr. Bruyer, stand today, and apologize? Honourable Minister of Veterans Affairs. We are committed to supporting Canada's veterans and their families and ensuring that they are aware of all the benefits that they are entitled to. I engage regularly with veterans from coast to coast to coast. I hosted over 40 veteran town halls, and I am always open to different viewpoints. It is important to note that we do not take veterans to court. However, it would not be appropriate for me to comment further on this specific case because it is currently being appealed.